Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying hacks from the video Five Funny Food and Beauty School Life Hacks That Are Actually Funny. Five, one, two, three, go. Wow, I really think I nailed that intro. <laughs> I'm really sorry about the puns, guys. I'll cut it out. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Let's start. A fire! That's a good place to stop. <laughs> Has this ever happened to you? You go to brush your teeth, but then you realize there's no toothpaste. Where did it go? Is it in the drawer? Nope. It's not in the drawer. Where could it be? Is it under here? Nope. Is it in the toilet? Oh man, I hope it's not in the toilet. <laughs> and now there's only one thing left to do, and that is to call my mom. Mom! Where's my toothpaste? <laughs> it's in the drawer! It's not in the drawer! It's not in there! Mom! Where's my toothpaste? Don't make me come in there, honey. Now, if I find toothpaste inside this drawer, you're gonna be in trouble. Well, have a look. Okay, here it is. Look at all that toothpaste! Dude, if I were the mom, I would be so mad. See? I told you. So you know what this girl's solution is? She takes her toothbrush, and then she goes ahead and breaks it in half. Then she puts some hot glue on there, and she hot glues it directly to her toothpaste. It's the perfect crime. Now, she'll never lose her toothpaste or toothbrush ever again. It's highly convenient. Well, I guess it's time for me to try this one. First up, guys, we get our toothbrush. Now we gotta cut the handle off. That didn't work. Come on. This knife is so dull. This ought to do it. Here we go. Uh, yeah, perfect. Then we grab our toothpaste and our hot glue gun, and we just put the hot glue on the on the tip of the toothpaste. Here we go. I'm having a hard time with this for some reason. You know what? Take that off. There's always a way around things. There we go. I feel like this is gonna fall off, so I'm adding a lot of hot glue. Stay. No! It doesn't really want to stay. Is that gonna work? Nope. Stay just like that, please. Is it gonna do it? Nope, nope, it's slipping again. I think it's working. Okay. Nope, nope, stay up, stay up. They didn't tell you how to make it stay up, and that's where I have a problem with this. I'll see you guys when the hot glue cools down. I have to keep making this thing stay up, too. <laughs> okay, the hot glue is nice and cooled down. Put that back on. Admittedly, it's a little crooked. Yeah, I'll admit it. But you know what? It's fine. It'll work just the same. Let's try it out. Okay. Take this bad boy off. Yes. Put it on here. I use princess toothpaste. And we put it back on. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Wow! Oh my god! What? That's amazing! I can actually brush my teeth with this! What are the chances I would be able to do that? Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Okay, so this girl gets a brand new plant for eight dollars apparently. Oh my god, big spender, am I right? Eight freaking dollars. That's that's a lot of money for a plant. I don't know. I don't know if I can afford this plant. And then she goes to water. She's like, here you go. Oh, and can we please talk about this really quick? She's getting literally no water inside this plant right now. Like, it's all falling out outside the pot. She's getting water everywhere. What are you doing? Look at her. So then she's like, wait, did I water it enough? No way. So she goes to water it even more. Yeah, that should do it. Oh, maybe. Just a little bit more water. Yeah, even more water. Yeah, that should be good. Ooh, maybe a little bit more water. Yeah, that should do it. Hey, you know what you need? More water. <laughs> that looks like she's peeing right there. What the heck? What is that face? What is going on here? That looks like she's peeing. Oh, God. What? Stop it. Stop it. No. Now we have, like, this weird animation of the plant, and it's like, you watered me too much, so I have to leave. It's she's, she's literally getting all over the thing. What are you doing? No wonder your plant wants to leave you. You're so... <laughs> So dumb. Stop it. Look how overflowing that plant is. This activity performed by actors in a controlled environment. Please use caution if you plan to replicate. Oh, I'll use caution when I replicate. Trust me. Although why, what, I'm so confused. Why do I need to use caution when I water a plant? <laughs> what? <laughs> why is this even needed? I don't understand. So you wanna hear the solution? All you need is a soap with a little hand pump and then make sure it's completely clean. No soap can be in there. Then you cut it in half, make a little mark where you're gonna uh, cut out the hole for the hand pump. Then you go ahead and cut it out. Look how smooth that was. Wow. Then you put your water in, inside of it like that. Flip the top over and put it inside. Then you just stick your little hand pump inside the, the, the water spigot. Put a rubber band over that to hold it all together. And then you put your plant inside of it. Now, whenever you need to water your plant, you, all the water just goes back down 
inside. Just recycles the same water all the time. It's perfect. Look how happy this plant is now. This one's kind of crazy. So crazy, it just might work. <laughs> Okay guys, so here's our soap dispenser. We're gonna go ahead and cut it in half. Take this guy out, there we go. Does it fit in there? I mean, it's good enough. Yeah, I think I should have given it a little bit more room for the plant, but I'm sure it's fine. Let me go ahead and cut a little hole right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my trusty X-Acto knife. Does it fit? Perfect. Yeah, it looks good. I need water. I really need to get a bottle of water or something. Oh, I don't think I, I cleaned all the soap out. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. Of course, we can't forget a plant. Yes. Perfect. Okay, I know it's not a real plant, but I don't have any real plants. Oh, okay, put this back in here. So far, yeah, this is looking uh, pretty legit. You guys ready to see if it works? And a one, and a two, and... <laughs> Went a little too far. Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like how it's squirting so far. Uh, I don't know what to do. Maybe if I do it really... It goes so far! Maybe if I do it like that? This is very impractical. Maybe this thing has to be a little shorter. No! What have I done? Everything I touch gets ruined. Okay, yeah, maybe this will work. You guys ready? Ah! Uh, if I just hold my hand this way. Oh, God. Yeah, it kind of works. Yeah, I don't think this actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and give this hack a uh, three out of 10. Would not recommend. Okay, so have you ever been in class and you really just want to use your phone? So you managed to cut out a little notebook and then you put your phone inside the notebook? Oh no, the teacher's coming. Kevin is book smart. He used the book to his advantage. The teacher, she never saw it coming. He's like, whew, I got away with that one. But little did she know, he was playing Bejeweled the whole time. I can't believe you. Maybe I could do something similar with my little book. So what she does is she cuts out her makeup box and then gets her razor, which I still don't think you're supposed to have in school. I don't know why every one, two, three, go video, they always have like a pocket razor. So then you just slide it in there and then boom, you have makeup in class. It's the perfect crime. Let's try this one. Okay guys, so instead of wasting an entire notebook, I'm just gonna use this post-it pad. And for some reason, my school doesn't allow bottle caps. I don't know why. It's just outlawed the school for whatever reason. So my goal is to try and fit this bottle cap inside of this post-it note. Maybe take the first couple layers off, draw around it, just like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna break out my X-Acto knives. Now I just have to carefully cut out a bunch of these post-it notes till I'm done. Here we go. Okay, we got some down. Uh, now we have all these left. I didn't really get anywhere. We only did two. Ugh, this is gonna take a while. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, and we are all done, I think. It's not as clean as uh, theirs looked. It's definitely not as clean as theirs looked, but you know, it'll do. Does our bottle cap fit? I mean, to find fit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maybe if I put it upside down. Oh, that works. Yeah. If we put it upside down, it works perfectly. I just put the top one back on. Boom. Yeah. Bottle cap? What bottle cap, teacher? I have no bottle cap. All I have here are post-it notes. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and say that this one works. Have you ever tried to just like make a cheat sheet for class? It's perfect. It's the best cheat sheet in the world, but so big. Maybe if we make it just a little bit smaller. Put it in my pocket. No, it still won't fit in my pocket. Well, that idea is out the trash. Let's make an even smaller cheat sheet. No, I'm writing on the table. Hey, what are you doing? I'm trying to make a cheat sheet. Wow, how about you try this? Wow, no, I don't want to smile. Wait. Where's this balloon going? <laughs> so now it's super small. What? So you're saying that this big writing turned into this little writing. That's crazy, I have an idea. So first, we're gonna go ahead and write our, our equation on the balloon, nice and big, and then we're gonna let it shrink down so it gets really small. Then we put tape on it, then we put it on our nail. Wow, that's actually really clean. The teacher will never notice this one. It's perfect. Dang, I thought my handwriting was bad. Wow, I can barely even, what is that? CLB? What is that? Anyway, let's try this one. Okay, so here's our balloon. Go ahead and blow this up. Now we have to write our secret message. I don't know what to put here. Oh, I got it. Perfect. Now I always know to wear a mask when I go out in public. Now we're gonna go ahead and let some of the air out. 
Oh! I don't think I did this right. Look how tiny it is though, it's perfect. Okay, what's another one we could do? Um, let's see. A equals MC squared. I think, wait, squared is that one, right? And then plus uh, 10 minus 12 equals negative two plus six uh, divided by two equals three plus or four plus uh, eight equals 12. Yeah, I, re I remember that. Yeah, I just always had so many problems remembering this uh, specific equation. Okay, now we're gonna carefully let the air out again. Okay, and now we have our equation, which I don't think I wrote small enough because how the heck is this supposed to fit on my thumb? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to try it and find out. So they just put some tape on it and then it picked it up on the tape. Oh no. So here we go. <gasps> what? You can vaguely see it. It's perfect. Let me just do the next part. Put it underneath. Oh my God. It's perfectly legible. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Wow, look it, I'm all ready for my math test. <sighs> what is it, Toby? Toby, I'm just so lonely lately. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Toby. What if I um, made you some friends? <gasps> the first thing we're gonna need are some tennis balls. Good thing I got all these bad boys. What do you think, Toby? You think this will be enough friends for you? Oh, heck yeah, it will be my brothers and, and sisters. <laughs> so first things first, we're gonna need to make these guys a mouth. I'm guessing there's like a hundred here, so uh, <laughs> this might take a while. Okay, so here's the original Toby. They kinda all go like this, but with a logo on the bottom. I got tennis balls with no logo. So just uh, right across the mouth, just like, just like that. <laughs> Perfect, one down. Now, like a hundred more to go. Okay, now it's time to dump them all out. Ah! Oh God, oh, I missed one. Now we apply the googly eyes. There we go, one dot here, and then one dot here. Boop. Oh, yeah. oh, I feel so alive! Okay, one down. Now all these to go. Oh, have fun! Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Whew. All freaking done. I don't know how many I made, but <laughs> yep, that's all of them. Oh, they're beautiful. My new family. Well, guys, if you want one, you can buy them on my big cartel shop. What? That's right, these could be yours for a limited time. While well, supplies last, I might sell out of them, so get them before I sell out. Robbie! I thought you made me friends! Nope! Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I guess I'm gonna be lonely again. Goodbye, brothers. Oh. Okay, yeah, so if you guys want one of these, uh, make sure to click the link description down below. I'll also include some stickers in every purchase of a Toby. So, yeah, I don't know how many is here. I'm guessing like 85 to 100. I don't. I didn't even want to bother counting. Yep, that's it. Okay, so this girl comes in and she's like, Hey, how's it going? She's so hungry. Why does this look like my cabinet? All candy, all cereal, just random stuff. Just all junk food. That's totally me. So she goes to grab the cereal. <laughs> And it just overflows all on her face. And at one point she's like, why does it take, it's been falling a long time. So she like checks her watch and she's like, I'm just embracing it. All this cereal. Whoa! That's how I'm trying to be. I just want to be covered in this cereal. This is amazing. Honestly. So her roommate's like, hey, you see the cereal box? Why'd you leave it open? So instead of closing it like a normal person where you just close the flaps over each other, she closes it like this. And then all of a sudden, this is 100% better. Those cereal boxes usually come with bags in them to kind of keep the cereal like good weird uh well i guess we'll i guess we're gonna have to try this one so here's our box of cereal so apparently the first thing they do is fold these in just like that and they try and push the sides in okay and they put one of these down like that looks good and now for some reason they put it in here oh wow what the heck is this huh it's actually staying closed kind of there's a little gap right there wow that's fun. I mean, I don't think it's really that much better than how you normally fold your box of Cheerios. I guess we could say that this one works! Woo! 
Okay, guys, that's our first part of the video where we record the thumbnail. Woo! So the first thing we're gonna need is a big old box of cereal. Now we also need a bowl, and you can't forget the spoon. Nice. Go ahead and pour our bowl of cereal. I need my green screen. I can't be seen without my screen. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, now for the part that I don't really know how to do. For this part, I, I need a spoon, but I don't have any giant spoons. So instead, I'm gonna use the samurai sword. Spoon, samurai sword, it's like the same thing anyway, right? And... Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It looks like this far right down there. If you guys like this video, if you guys want to watch me do even more funny life hacks, I have a whole playlist that can me do that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want brand new clips before they come out, I actually made a whole new channel called Robbie Clips. You can subscribe to that right here. All that sound lame? Well, just click the mystery card. I made it just for you. You're welcome. Okay guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Okay, bye!